is if you don't have someone who actually knows the complexity behind the technology, only users on the front, then you have a risk of those mistakes getting very large because nobody catches them. Hello everyone, my name is Shivam Baliwal. Uh, I welcome you all to Indian Technology Party. Today we have a very special guest, uh, Mr. Edward Roger, uh, who is the former knowledge officer at NASA. He has a mastery in solving the complex things. So uh, let's gain some knowledge and understand uh, technology things from uh, Roger, sir. Uh, sir, welcome to Indian Technology Party. Uh, nowadays, technology are becoming very complex day by day. So uh, this complex technology, are making things simple for uh, people like us or uh, it is making more complex what's your thought on that well that's a good question actually because i think there's parts of both sides to that so from the user point of view it's very easy for a user to use a complex computer without understanding what goes on at all inside the computer so the interaction for the user is point and click drag and drop type mm -hmm. and save he has no idea of all the code and all the background and chips and technology that's embedded in that computer. Right. So in this way, it makes me able to do simple tasks or complicated tasks in a simple way. So okay, the right. user interface, you know, about making a simple user interface and that behind it is a deep technology. Uh, this is also true in operating machinery, mm -hmm. operating plants, power plants, nuclear plants. All these things are operated by simple control systems that are complex behind the wall of the user, you know, right. the user doesn't necessarily see. This also creates some risks though, too, because sometimes you don't, there, there's two, there's two risks. One, is there somebody who actually knows what happens behind the wall? So I'll give you an example. Uh, years ago, there was a nuclear accident in Three Mile Island in Pennsylvania from a nuclear oh. power plant. The people who were operating the plant didn't really understand what happens behind the knobs they turn. Oh, oh. so they, they turn the knobs in a way that may not be the most productive. It's not that dissimilar to the Bhopal gas state, mm -hmm. similar idea. If you don't understand what's behind the knobs, you just turn the knob up, turn the knob down, you know, according to like your book guidebook, you don't really know the complexity behind it, then you miss signals. In that Three Mile Island accident, there was one engineer who looked at the dials and the controls in the control room and said, this control int int information is wrong because he understood the system that was built, how it was built. Mm -hmm. Because he knew that, he was able to make a smart judgment and save from a probably a really much worse disaster. Just this one person. So that's the second risk is if you don't have someone who actually knows the complexity behind mm -hmm. the technology, only users on the front, then you have a risk of those mistakes getting very large. Mm -hmm. Because no, uh, is it that that technology uh, gives us the chance to make a mistakes. It does. I mean, you can look at it that way. It gives you the chance to achieve very large things. You can make nuclear power plants, right? Mm -hmm. Create a lot of power in a complex way, but very cheaply over a long period of time. You know, for the, for the energy is, is very, very, very powerful. You can also make a big mistake, like you know, look at Ukraine, Russia. Right now. Somebody makes wow. a mistake, pushes the rocket in the wrong place. You could have a massive disaster. So you wouldn't have that if you didn't have nuclear plants sitting there. So it creates possibilities. I mean, the same is true with flying an airplane. Mm -hmm. You build the A3, A380, you put 500 people in it. Mm -hmm. Well, it's different than if you're flying a small airplane with 50 people. You kill 50 people, you kill 500 people, you make a bigger mistake. And that, that's just the way things scale. And so that's always true. And the, yes, those, the more complex it gets, the bigger the risk is get. And the more people are removed from understanding the technology, mm -hmm. Unfortunately, they become sort of blind to it. Like, they don't understand why it works, they don't understand why it fails. How do you simplify the complex things? And so you have done this uh, all through your career in NASA, uh, as a chief knowledge officer in NASA. So, uh, in NASA it's all about rocket science. Uh, and whenever things fail or uh, something happens, uh, uh, you simplify the things. Uh, so, is there any framework or uh, something that we can apply in your regular life so I wouldn't use the word simplify simplify implies that you're going to take something that's complicated or has multiple pieces and you're going to take it one by one so you can fix this you can fix this you can fix that which is kind of an engineering approach take it in parts fix it then put it back together works perfectly well for solving these kind of problems these kind of complexities you're talking about are systemic complexities what you need to do is see the system 
it's kind of like a, a, a version of systems thinking. Think about how the system operates because you need to understand how those pieces interact with each other. Mm -hmm. uh, simplifying is not the right word, in other words. It, it is a kind of understanding how the system works so that when you make changes or, or, or interactions, you, you can predict what's going to happen. Otherwise, you're just blindly pushing your finger and seeing what happens. Yeah, and I, so I used to ask my colleagues at NASA, I said, uh, if, you want, if you had a satellite, and I, I came into your, I'm not an engineer, so I come into your clean room, you're building a satellite, you've been building it for many years, you've spent a lot of time, a lot of money. I just took a screwdriver and said, oh, here's a screw that's loose, let me tighten the screw. Uh, would you let me? No, 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 because I don't know what's on the other side of that screw, I don't know what it's connected to, I don't know if it tightens here, it loosens here, it creates a, you know, another problem, because it's a system, there's parts interact. Organizations, teams, projects are the same way. They are interconnected systems of people and agendas and, and, and biases and all kinds of things that can make people move. You need to dress them as a system to see how the complexity of the technology and the complexity of the people interact as a system together. You don't just put your finger in and turn it. <laughs> so uh, we should understand the interaction between the systems. Yes. Right. That's the major part. Why That's why we do mapping, right? Yeah, right. To right. see how the systems are operating, then we get a better insight. Yeah. Can you talk a little bit on uh, mapping the things? Well, mapping is just a visual technique of being able to see systemic things. So things are interconnected. If you look at them simplified one by one, you solve them one by one, you may not get an optimum solution. You need to see how the systems interact. So this is true for public policy. You put money in one program, you take money from another program. I mean, you incentivize people to, to do this by giving a subsidy, then they're gonna change the behavior and do this. If you don't predict these behaviors as a system, you may not get the result you want. That's true for public policy, that's true for technology, it's true for interacting with people and organizations. All these things are systems. So the better, the mapping is just a technique of visualizing how things are connected, which gives you a better understanding of the system. Right, means uh, when you map the things and the various system on the paper, mm -hmm. the tree form, uh, you get to a full view, a balcony view, you can say, uh, of the all system. And you can connect the points uh, and simplify, or I can't say simplify, or you can understand the things better and take the judgment on that. Sure. Is it? You, you never see the whole system. Whole system. Okay. There's no boundary, right? Because yeah. every system is connected to every other system in some way. Mm -hmm. But you see some piece of it that's important to you, that the part that you're dealing with, so you can, you can get a better a better idea of what the implications are what changes if you make what that will mean and how much you're likely how much you're likely to get the expect the result that you expect rather than get some unexpected result which may be better maybe worse it's, you will have the control if you draw the map better informed decisions better informed decisions yes That's right okay